Hi. Hi, Facebook world. That's what my friend Melissa says, so I thought I'd start saying that. Okay, so I have two things. I'm going to show you how to do a little keto cake. It's microwavable. You do it in a coffee cup. And then I'm going to also show you, I am, my friend Angie posted a ceviche, shrimp ceviche salsa is what it's called, but I'm going to make it for my dinner. So I'm going to do the cake first, and then we'll do the ceviche after. And after that, that way while it's cooking, we can do the, the ceviche. So let's start with the cake. Let me get a bowl here real quick. So the cake, you're gonna make it into, in a coffee cup. Earlier I made it in a coffee cup that was shorter than this and it kind of exploded. So we're gonna go taller. So that's what I would recommend. It's two tablespoons butter. This is keto cake, so totally okay to eat if you're doing keto. Who out there is doing keto? Let me hear it. Two tablespoons butter. Then we're gonna microwave that for 20 seconds and melt it. Here's the cake that exploded earlier. <laughs> We'll throw that in the garbage. But it was delicious, if that helps. It was just a little tester because I wanted to make sure it tasted good before I came on here and showed you all. Okay, so 20 seconds on that. Just till it's melted, basically. It's all melted in your cup. And then we're gonna go with our sweetener. And I'm gonna use stevia. It calls for erythritol, I think it's called. Um, but I have a bunch of stevia and I have some flavored. So I'm going to use that. But I am still going to measure it and use the same measurements. And most of you know that um, watch me. I don't usually measure. But on something like this, I kind of think it's important to measure because of the explosion that I had earlier. <laughs> so how many of you are doing keto and you miss sweets? Um, put me a piece of cake down there on the emojis and tell me about that because that's the thing that a lot of people miss I personally miss chips and that type of thing, but a lot of people miss sweets So if you're missing sweets Drop me a cake emoji and this is the thing for you because it's it's just like cake it tastes just like cake Okay, so sugars in The next thing is our cocoa powder. It's unsweetened um, chocolate is what I'm using, but I'm sure there's other kinds. And that is also, I think it's two tablespoons. Let me check. Because I'm measuring this time. Two tablespoons. Unsweetened chocolate into the cup. Now we're going to add almond flour. Two tablespoons. There you go. And now a, let's see. The next one is the baking soda. And I don't, I added a little too much last time. It's just a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. So just a tiny little bit. I have a half here, I'm gonna um, just measure it out. So there's a quarter. A little bit of coconut flour. So use both types of flour. This is just one teaspoon of coconut and two tablespoons of the almond. Okay, so there are all of our powders. Let's make sure we got everything. Butter, flour, coconut, the sugar, which is the erythritol, or like I just used stevia, and I used a hazelnut because I thought that'd be really good with the chocolate. Kind of sweeten it up a little bit. Then it calls for a little bit of vanilla. Again, a quarter teaspoon. And I can show you this recipe. I can um, send it to you, or if you just go on Pinterest, that's where I found it. I'm gonna put that in there. And then, one egg. Can't forget the egg, because that's what makes it rise. If you forget the egg, it's not gonna be half as good. Now I'm gonna take a fork, and you just wanna mix it all up, get all the lumps out of it. 
mix, mix. Can you guys kind of see that? Yeah. That's it. It's that easy. So we melted the butter first. And then we added all the ingredients, mixed it up so it's real, um, you know, no lumps, basically. Put that there. Back into the microwave. And that goes on for a minute. So while that's cooking, I want to, let's make the whipped cream real quick. So I use heavy whipping cream and just a hand blender, this kind. And I put that also into a coffee cup. And you wanna have enough in there to cover. And you could put a little stevia, and I think I will, because it's not very sweet. So just a little, few little drops. Depending on what, what you like. You might not like your whipped cream um, sweet. Who likes sweets? Give me a little sweet emoji. Okay, we're just blending it. Can you guys see that? And you're gonna just blend it till it gets the consistency that you like. And while that's blend, while this other one's cooking, you're blending this. This is like a, I don't know, what do we got into it? Three or four minute dessert. Those midnight cravings. Totally keto. And if you're doing real strict, you don't want to do a lot of the flowers and that stuff because you're going to want to be a little more strict if you're really in it for a lot of, this is something you're going to want to eat every day if you're in it for a lot of big weight loss, but a lot of people aren't even in it for weight loss. Keto can be done for so many different reasons. There's whipped topping. Okay, let's bring out the cake. Let's see. Oh, it didn't explode. Oh my gosh, you guys. Cake. Okay, let's get our fork out. Yep, look. It's cake, just like that. Doesn't that look delicious? I'm gonna let that cool before I take a bite, okay? I don't wanna burn myself on live interwebs. That's not good. Okay, next thing is the ceviche. So it calls for lime to start. And this is super simple and I prepped everything so that you weren't on here forever. And so here, right here is the shrimp. I just took um, shrimp, defrosted them, I grew, um, pan fried them with olive oil and then I diced them up. Then I have avocado, cilantro, cucumbers, tomatoes and onions. So you're gonna start, and I salt and peppered my shrimp so you can also salt and pepper the whole thing. But we're gonna start with limes. These limes are really, really um, hard and does they didn't feel like there was a lot of juice. So, yeah, see there's not a lot in there. This is the best tool ever and I will totally sell it. It's um, Pampered Chef, but you can get them anywhere, but Pampered Chef has the best one, in my opinion. And Mary Kent, that's her old name. I don't know what her new name is. She's my pampered chef lady and she's great. She um, works out of Coeur d'Alene. And if anybody you want her number, I'd be more than happy to share. Okay, one more. So I bought a little bit of lime juice as well because with my ceviche, I like lime. I like it to be super limey. I'm gonna cheat and put some of this in there. And then you always want to read your ingredients, zero, zero, zero. But um, it's just, if you can get in the habit, especially with keto, you don't want any um, hidden sugars or things that you can't, um, you don't know what they are, they might be sugar. So, okay, lime's in there. I'm gonna put my onions in first. And I, like I said, I prepped all this earlier because I didn't want you to sit and have to watch me. And then my cucumbers, because I want all of that to be closest to the, the lime juice. So it soaks it up a little bit. 
I do the same thing with cucumbers, onions, and apple cider vinegar as a salad for my dinner. How do you guys like my new apron? I bought it just for you guys. And when I was putting it on, I found this. And it's upside down, but it's a cheat sheet. It tells you all the measurements and what it is. Pretty cool. Anyway, back to ceviche. Okay, tomatoes. And how about shrimp? Right in the center. This one's looking good. So earlier I also made, I don't know if you've watched my videos, all of my videos, but I made some chips out of Parmesan cheese. So I brought home some pepper jack cheese and I made some chips out of that. So that's how I'm gonna eat this tonight, is dip it in the chips and eat it that way. You wanna make sure you're not getting too much protein, so you have to be careful with the dairy as well. Dairy will stall you when you're on keto. So if for some reason maybe you're stalled and you're kind of plateaued and sitting at the same weight, if you're doing it for weight, that's why. So you cut out a little bit of dairy, you up the fat, boom, you're doing it. Okay, let me rinse my hands real quick and we're gonna stir this around and have ceviche. It's that easy. That's the one thing with the keto. It's I found it so easy, you know, and um, who doesn't like high fat food? I mean, really, it takes, makes total sense to me. Can you guys see that? If you're having trouble because of all the comments, just wipe, right swipe. So who out there is following keto? Or are you just following me because you like me to cook for you? You should come over because it's really good. I don't know that I'll have enough because this bowl bowl I might just eat. I don't know. Okay, that's it. And I probably would squeeze some more lime because I love lime that much, but you don't have to. Maybe a little bit of the Himalayan salt. And I talk about Himalayan salt every time. It has all your minerals and your electrolytes, so you're gonna wanna always use it when you're cooking for keto. Look at how good that is. Delicious. Okay, so let's try the cake. Real quick, I'll just take one quick bite so you guys can see that I'm not making it up. I'm gonna get a little bit of whipped cream and a little bit of cake. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's cake. That's delicious and I can taste the hazelnut. Oh my gosh, so good. Okay, now ceviche, hold on. Here's my chip that I made earlier. This is um, out of pepper jack, which is so good. I love them out of Parmesan, but pepper jack might be my new favorite. Okay, ceviche, here we go. Ready? Mm-hmm, it's delicious. And I'm glad I put extra lime in it because it's really good. Okay, anything else? <laughs> That's it. So share my video, get this out there, teach people how to do keto. And if you um, have anything that you want me to cook, put it in the comments. People wanted dessert, I made you dessert, chocolate cake. Okay, see you guys, see you tomorrow.